I want to discuss the video by Deep Inside the Rabbit Hole showing the sun getting smaller as it sets, as it's moving away from us over the flat earth plane. Commenters are claiming that this video is fake. Sucram Sucram says it's fake. Also apparently Will Silander has had his day made and he can't stop laughing. Now as a believer in the globe earth model, he has to take this position because his logical brain is telling him the sun that is 93 million miles away should not be getting smaller as it sets over the horizon. Sukram also says that real photography shows us that the sun never shrinks. So let's go to YouTube and see if we can find any footage of that's unbiased. Somebody who is not approaching this from a flat earth perspective. Turns out there are endless clips of people simply uploading, setting sun footage to show off their new time-lapse cameras or to appreciate the beauty of nature. Okay, take a look at this first clip. This is a Cambodian sunset. He says, it's so beautiful and relaxing to see sunset at Ultras Beach. This person does not talk about flat earth. Let's watch as the sun gets smaller. Another really important aspect of this is the sun will actually appear to slow down as it approaches the horizon. This is impossible on a spinning globe. The reason it appears to slow down and get smaller is because it is moving away from us on its circular path around the pole. Let's check out a couple of other clips here. has nothing to do with flat earth. And it even shows the beautiful little moon getting smaller as it goes away from us. This one is how to shoot sunset day to night time lapses. To all of the globe believers out there, do you really think that believing in a flat earth is some popular position to take? When I first heard about flat earth, I called it absurd, but at least I was open-minded enough to go and try to debunk it. Let's hear what David Weiss has to say about his awakening. People started posting on our social media, hey, check out this, flat earth, flat earth this, flat earth that. And uh, I refused to even click on one of those links. I would delete them. And I even banned people from posting that would put repetitive garbage like the earth <laughs> is flat. Finally, a researcher that I trusted, hey, Dave, just watch this video. And I watched the video. Then I watched another one. Then I watched another one. And after um, watching a whole bunch, I said, OK, I'm going to go in and debunk this. And that's the greatest thing a ball believer can do is go in and try to debunk the flat earth. Because if they do it with a rational mind and using the scientific method, they will come out on the other side knowing that we do not live on a spinning ball flying through space at ridiculous speeds in four different directions at once where the stars reset every year to the exact same position. What's really embarrassing is I uh, realized the world was flat and I still believed in NASA. And the only reason for that was is because I never looked into NASA. And then someone said, someone said to me, you know, you believe NASA's real? And then I, it, I realized that I'd never questioned NASA. Somebody said, you believe we went to the moon? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, have you ever looked into it? I'm like, no. And then I looked into it. it took 10 minutes. 10 right. minutes. 10 yeah. minutes is all it takes is to see that NASA is horrible at what they do. They're <laughs> right. horrible at faking it. Whether they, they must be doing it on purpose because I could do better and I'm not a graphics person. The funny thing is, you know, the people that believe in NASA, the only reason they believe in NASA is because they haven't actually looked um, at anything NASA does. NASA is a CGI uh, agency, period. That's it. That's it. 
with all that motion, um, parallax, you know, stars are supposedly scattered all over the place. And, 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 you know, a year later, the stars are in the exact same position they were a year before. That's impossible. That proves that the stars are fixed and rotating above us and we are not moving. There's no other explanation. Wrap your head around it. And, uh, and that's, you know, that's the way it is.